Tonight's guest makes men weak and women jealous. She's a presence so real, so strong, so sexy, she's impossible to ignore. And who but a fool would want to? Anna Nicole Smith, from Playmate to Supermodel to Movie Actress. And she's here tonight. So, Anna Nicole? It's Anna Nicole is what you call mostly, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like most of us, you didn't have a storybook childhood, I read. Um, your mom was working, she wasn't around much, and you didn't know your dad? My real father left when I was a baby. Mm -hmm. I had a stepdad that we really didn't get along. Mm -hmm. And my childhood was pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know them. Um, so who raised you? My aunt and my mom. Kind of more my aunt is, is the, the best and the most memories. Were you skinny as a kid? So you were eight, nine, ten, the tallest of everybody around, right? Right. Did you feel like a geek? I did. I, I hated it because everyone, you know, they always picked on me. And, I don't know. We were very poor, so I got second clothes, mm -hmm. like, for my stepsister. Was she as big as you? She was really short, so my mom would cut off the pants leg and sew them on her jeans. And that's what I wore to school. Wow. So, <laughs> I can't even figure that one out. That's just it was cool. very embarrassing. Oh. What was your mom doing? She was um, working as a police officer. Still is. Yikes. She was, she was real tough and... Boy, you know, she's real tough. You wouldn't want to get in a fight with her. You know, she's still working. She's big as you? She's, she comes up to about, oh, that's more. I think you can take her. You've <laughs> got to realize that someday. You can take her. Because we're all going to take our moms someday. Well, I was very scared of my mom for a long time. And um, I finally got over that. I guess it was about four years ago. I left home when I was 15. Mm -hmm. And, um... What were we doing? Where was this town? What, what's it called? Say... It's called Mahaya. People pronounce it Mexia. Because it's so M-E-X-I-A. Uh -huh. But it's Mahaya. Mahaya, Texas. Were you modest? I was... I mean, how old were you when you started looking like a woman? When I was pregnant. Ah, right. I was very flat chested and fucking... So you were anorexic. Right. Very, very anorexic. My, my um, hip bones used to stick out. I mean, like an inch out of my jeans to my hip bones. I was 5'11", when I was size 3 jeans. And I worked at a Jim's Crispy Fried Chicken. Jim's Crispy Fried Chicken. <laughs> For four years. <laughs> Cooking chicken. There was a lot of chicken eating going on in that town. Okay. <laughs> it was. Yeah. I loved it. I can, I can remember, um, you know, I was living with my aunt and I put an application in because I quit school because this guy had beat me up and I didn't want to go back. He was from school? Mm -hmm. It was this guy. And uh, it took me by surprise because, like, he was in love with me, and our, our teacher, our teacher told us, she made a rule. She says, if you, if you catch someone talking, you get to say he's talking or she's talking, you do 25 sentences that say, I will not talk. Write them. You have to write them down and bring them back the next day. Mm -hmm. And he caught me. So he made me, um, 25 or 50 minutes, I'm not sure. And the next day, I caught him. I said, hey, you're 100 sentences saying I will not talk. And I had taken metal trades, and he was in my first class. So um, 
Ed went there and I said, did you do your sentences? <laughs> like that, and he just went pop. And I fell back. I just got, I stood back up. And I was like, kind of, I guess, dazed. Or I couldn't believe it, and he went pop. <laughs> Again? Again. Fell back down. All these guys are around the table watching. Mm. Got back up, pop again. He hit me five times, and I kept getting up and getting up. And finally, the teacher came over, took us to the principal's office, and I got suspended. I went home, and I, I just told my aunt what happened, and I quit. And that's when I put up my application and to work. At Jim's Chris Fried Chicken. And I remember when they called me back and said I had the job. I was so excited. I was jumping up and down and screaming, ah! You know, I got the job. I get to work. And I worked. Free. All the time. Yeah. I worked there for four years. You say that the guy that you married, the cook, he was 16? Oh, he was 16. He was so cute. He looked like a. A little boy, he had, he had um, cotton hair. He just looked real innocent and always cooked. And all the girls always, you know, picked on him. They'd say, Billy. You know, we'd always pick on him, but he, he never, you know, responded to anybody. My mom was living in Houston at this time. And um, I had left. And I think I, I went to Houston and I lived with this lady. I don't remember her name, but I lived there one day and I missed Billy. So I, I, I called them mm -hmm. and I asked them to please come to camp. I remember it was snowing. It never snowed. Never, never snows in Houston. Or, you know, it just don't snow. And it was snow, and there was ice, and it was at night, and he come pick me up. And mm -hmm. He was taking me back home, and he snuck me into his bedroom, and that's where I was sleeping. And uh, I would sneak in, out, I would, and then I would sneak out the window, Whoa. and uh, go to work. Uh -huh. And I would sneak back in, and I would sneak back out the window, mm -hmm. and um. Then finally he told his mom, you know, and she said that we should live there if I paid two hundred dollars a month. Uh -huh. I had called my mom, and I, I guess she had found out mm -hmm. about it because mm -hmm. my grandma and everybody, you know, mm -hmm. my aunt, mm -hmm. and she said, I don't want y'all moving in together unless you get married. Yep, please, woman. So, I told Billy, I said, we're getting married. And he didn't, he didn't really want to get married. I said, I can't, I can't stay with you if you don't marry me. So, we got married. I went and bought this fine dress. It was a pink and white dress. <laughs> and he wore jeans. <laughs> and he was, well, how old were you guys? I was 17, he was 16. Right. And I can't, I remember that, um, we got married in this parent's house. Mm -hmm. And I can remember laughing through the whole wedding and just like hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> and I was laughing. And my boss, was like, I'm laughing. I'm laughing. And he tries to kiss.